Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about a topic that I feel like I need to talk about. As we can see where we're at in the moment, we're not in the best place. The world is not in the best place. There's a lot of corruption, there's a lot of crime, a lot of killing, a lot of horrible things that I don't even want to think about. Just a lot of hurt going around and I'm not justifying no one, I'm not doing none of that. I just want to talk about how we can try to help. How we can maybe help somebody that's in the predicament where they're not in their best mind. A lot of times we see people kill themselves and all that. And then we wonder like, what could have we done? Like, was there something I could have done to help a human? Like, cause life is precious and to get to the point where you want to like kill yourself and you don't want to be here anymore. Well, for me, in my heart, that means that you have to really be like hurting. You know, to like not want to be in the world where obviously God put you in this world for a reason. And sometimes like, I just feel bad because I feel like maybe like if somebody would have just like told them or spoken to them or I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, but I've seen a lot and even in myself, sometimes we feel entitled to feel like our feelings are more important than anybody else's feelings. Yeah, your feelings are important and you do take your feelings into consideration. Those are the most important thing. Like, you know, you're feeling yourself. You're the, that's the most important thing you have. But the guy next to you has feelings too and they're just, they're just as important as, they are just as important as your feelings. The person and his feelings too, they're important too. His feelings are important because they're valid also. The celebrity you follow, they have feelings too. The guy that's outside begging for food because he's not in the best, he's not in the best predicament. His feelings are valid and they are important, they are as important as your feelings. His feelings are as, as important as the president's feelings. His feelings are as, are as important as the celebrity you follow regardless of what social class you're in, regardless if you're rich, poor, wealthy, a million, regardless of whatever you're in, feel, their feelings are as valid as you are. I don't care what rank you're in, your feelings are important, their feelings are important, the guy behind you, his feelings are important as you are, they're valid just like yours are. So it gets me upset when I see people, even I do it sometimes when I, think that my feelings are more important than your feelings. Like what? No, our feelings are both important. We both have valid points. We need to learn to think like that because then we will learn to listen. We read this thing once that says we don't l listen to understand. We listen to respond. We listen to fire back, but we don't listen to understand. We don't listen to comprehend. We only listen so we can have an answer. We only listen because we can have a response. And that's what's wrong because we're not putting their feelings in consideration. Their feelings are important as yours are. If you're in an argument with somebody, speak your side and let them speak theirs and understand, try to understand. Sometimes we might hurt people's feelings on accident, but you can always redeem that, you can always fix that, but you have to learn to listen. This world already has a lot of bad things going on and I feel like the last we thing we need to do is keep fighting with each other and keep trying to kill each other and keep influencing wrong things that we shouldn't influence. I feel like it's time that we remember why we're here. We're here because somebody loved us so much to create us. We're here because we have a purpose. We are somebody important and regardless of anything, we need to love. Love is the most genuine thing that comes in your heart. You can be depressed, you can be sad, you can be angry, but love is the most genuine thing that you have to give because it's free, because you can give it, because it won't, by you giving it to them, that's not gonna decrease your love, it's gonna increase your love, your heart is gonna get bigger, your emotions are gonna be, it's just gonna be so much better. So I think it's important that we understand that. I think it's important that we start to love one another you know, they say change starts with you. If you want to change something, it starts with you. And I think I do believe that a lot of change does start with you. 
you have to change. Um, just want people to understand that we're all human beings. We're all important. Remember, just because you're here today does not mean you might not be here tomorrow. And just be humble. Love one another. If you can help one another. I see a lot of people be like, um, why am I going to give him? Because he might know, let's say, an example when somebody's outside. Because they're not in the best predicament and they're looking for, they're asking for help. We tend to be like, why are we going to give him something who helps me? Or we tend to be like, I'm not going to give him money because he might use it for drugs. Okay, rewind. First of all, when you give, you shouldn't worry about what they're going to do with what you give. Give because it comes out of your heart. Give because you can help. Give because you have enough to give because you have enough that you can give to somebody else. Don't worry about what they're gonna use it for. If your intentions are pure, if your intentions are genuine, and if you genuinely want to help that person, give without wondering, well, what are they gonna do it for? Why am I gonna give some? They might use it for drugs. No, shut up. You don't even know what they're gonna use it for. It's and plus it's none of your if you're giving it with your love, whatever they use it for, it's none of your business. So if I give my sister a laptop and she used to do something that she's not supposed to do, it's the same thing. It's like, I'm giving you something. Why am I worried about her? What are you going to use it for? If I give my brother a car, let's say, I'm not going to be worried about like, oh my God, what is, is he going to drive it? Is his friend going to drive it? That's his car. I give it to him. He can do whatever he wants with that car. Same thing when you give something to somebody. You give it to them. You, you pray. You say, thank you, Lord you give me the opportunity to be able to help somebody and then you leave it alone like that 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 irks me but yeah just love one another and yeah bye guys